So here is the uh, hardware simulator and uh, we are going to load into uh, the simulator the uh, ROM 32K uh, built-in chip so looking uh, for this particular chip and uh, here it is so let's load the HDL program that implements this uh, built-in chip we can inspect the HDL code and uh, observe that indeed this is a built-in chip as the keyword built-in indicates it has a single input which is the address that we want to focus on in this uh, RAM chip and it has a single output uh, pin which is uh, actually a 16-bit uh, bus that um, holds the contents of the register whose address is specified in the address input. Now this built-in chip also has a very nice side effect which we see here on the right hand side and this side effect uh, allows me to peek into this uh, uh, chip and I can scroll you know all the way from the beginning of the chip to the end from uh, register number 0 to register number uh, 32767 and um, I can observe not only um, the register number but also the contents of the register which presently is 0 all over uh, this uh, chip because we haven't, we haven't loaded anything uh, into the chip. Now in addition to this uh, scrolling uh, action we also have a set of uh, icons that enable me to do all sorts of things. One of them is to load the ROM chip with an external program. That is a program which exists in, a, in an external text file. So let us do that and uh, I click this uh, load uh, button and uh, what I have here is a folder with all sorts of um, low-level programs some of them are ASM uh, programs written in the HEC uh, symbolic language and some of them are HEC programs which were translated from assembly into uh, binary code so um, I can pick any one of these programs and load it into the um, uh, ROM so let's let's pick the first one, ed2.asm. I load the ROM, and I see that uh, the program indeed uh, has been loaded into the ROM. Most of the ROM chip uh, uh, is zeros because um, I, I've used only a very small portion of the uh, um, of the beginning of the ROM chip into which I loaded this program and I can actually see the program. The program says at 0 d equals m, at 1 d equals d plus m and so on and so forth. I can view this program both both in uh, uh, its uh, assembly representation, the symbolic commands. I can also switch to binary code and view the binary contents of, um, uh, of the program. Let's, uh, let's go back to assembly which is always easier to read and it's important to notice that this uh, uh, GUI that I see here is just a side effect it's not a real part of the hardware it just helps the programmer the hardware programmer and the debugger uh, the human debugger to actually control the device and uh, uh, experiment and and uh, and fix it later on so uh, once again this is a built-in chip it has this nice side effect and once I've loaded the ROM with uh, this program I can go back to the regular interface of the ROM and play with it. For example I can inquire or query uh, what do we have in uh, register number 4. So to do that I can go to the regular uh, uh, interface of the chip I can put the number 4 in uh, the address uh, input and then I have to evaluate uh, the chip logic so I evaluate the chip logic and I see that the output uh, of the chip becomes 2 and indeed uh, 2 is the decimal representation of the at 2 command uh, because uh, the at 2 command if we look at it in binary has uh, an opcode of 0 and then comes the value that we want to store in the A register which happens to be 2 2 in binary is 1 0. So this has been a demo of how we can control the built-in ROM chip uh, uh, using the GUI side effect.